Hey everybody, it's Jaded, and I wanted to start the show off today talking about what I'm doing with this show, why I started it, and uh, give give a little insight for those that don't know, maybe just, just starting to watch, just starting to watch, like this has been going on for like seasons or something, it's like episode four. Anyways, so the purpose of this show for me in the beginning was to uh just something to you know spend my time doing and uh cope with the fact that the beta is not here you know um which by the way if you guys don't know coming up soon uh blizzard has this event i believe on the 27th of july so next month and then on august 1st they're going to be lifting the embargo on that event and there's going to be like a ton of uh, uh, a new, like a new wave of media, some new coverage. They say they're going to talk about systems that haven't been revealed yet, you know, fully. Um, so pretty exciting, pretty exciting. Although it is a month away, um, but it could be also talk about the beta or uh, a date for the beta or even beta getting released. So we'll we'll have to see about that. But yeah, the the purpose of the show, as I make it more and more, it's going to be a show that's sort of catching everybody up on the world of Diablo 3 and things that maybe they haven't heard yet. Or, you know, maybe they don't have time to go around and, you know, grab all the the news about Diablo 3. So I'm going to be talking about, you know, different systems, different mechanics that have already been discussed and kind of, you know, give my own spin on them. And uh, yeah, so first things up, in the news we got Town Portals are back. Um, For those that didn't know, Town Portals had been removed because they were were sort of adding all these mechanics and and things for you to do that that didn't necessarily need you to go back to town all the time because um, basically you would, the only reason you'd go back to town in, in Diablo 2 would be to clear your inventory space and uh so they start adding you know different systems in where it's like okay we don't need to go back to sell items because we can salvage <clears throat> because we can salvage everything uh with this new cube and crush it down into materials where uh you know like highly stackable like like you know it stacks really high so you can you know keep salvaging and salvaging and not have to go back to town to deal with your stash and um Another thing was, what was it? Oh yeah, they didn't want like the sort of escapable mechanic of of town portals because you never really truly felt felt a sense of danger, other than you know getting so overwhelmed that you can't click the the, the portal because you know the mob's hitbox would be like on top of it. How many times has that happened? But um. But yeah, they didn't want people to just like have the feeling of, you know, no sense of danger when when you went outside and they really want to amp that up of, you know, you're going out into this environment that's not not friendly. And um so uh here's the thing when they when they sort of play tested this idea of not using town portals and adding all these other mechanics in that that help you not want to go back to town, what they realized was they could just put town portals back in. And maybe I'll maybe I'll throw out the blue posts from now on from from any like news stuff I do. Um, I'll make like a little blue post uh, graphic. And so Bashiak basically said that town portals added like a, a quality of life. You know, when you remove them, sure you get rid of all these bad things that were happening, but they 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 know that they can fix those sort of um, the problems that they had in D two of just. Oh, I'm in danger, you know, town portal out of this boss fight. Um, they haven't really discussed how they're going to go about fixing the, the things with D2. Uh, but my guess is the problems that they that they see are, you know, running from boss fights. And uh, what else? And also, I, I would get... See, I don't know where they're going to take the sort of um, the rushing mechanic or the, the power leveling mechanic. I think they still, if I remember right, they still wanted that ability in the game where, sure, your higher level friend can help you, but maybe they'll take out, like, just portaling everywhere and, and getting waypoints and stuff. I don't know, I don't know. Just a thought. But um, 
But yeah, so so a few ideas that people are kicking around is, you know, you're not going to be able to teleport out of boss fights. There's going to be a cast timer on the teleport um, or like a really long cooldown. I'm not a big fan of the idea of a cooldown. I don't think it adds a good... I don't think it adds good gameplay. Also, not being able to use them in, in combat. You know, like, in World of Warcraft, you would go into combat when you aggroed something. That's that kind of a um, mechanic where it's like, okay, you're in, you're in a fight. You can't just portal out and, and get the safety. So, also with this news came the... Uh, I guess, announcement that they're getting rid of the Scroll of Wealth, which was another... It, it sort of plays off of this thing, which is, you know, staying out in the in the world, experiencing the battle and the combat, rather than micromanaging all these little things with your inventory and stuff. So they, they took out this Scroll of Wealth, and what it did was, um, how I understood it was, you would use it just like a Scroll of Identify, you would right-click it, then you would right-click the item... And it would just give you money back instantly. And I can see why they got rid of it. To me, it's kind of a... It's a good thing that they got rid of it. Because it's just one more thing to have in your inventory and just stack up and, you know, another slot to get taken. So, uh, and, and I know they're trying to avoid that to make less clutter in your inventory. So you can just have all these, you know, all this loot that you pick up. And actually, one problem I had with D2 was there was just so much stuff that dropped from mobs like scrolls and potions that when you're picking up loot, it just clutters the screen so much. And uh, they, they also announced a new way to do it. Well, I, I wouldn't say that they announced the actual way, but they said that they do have a new way of, uh, of getting rid of items or selling items while you're out on the battlefield. But honestly, I've, I have no idea how they're going to do it. I, I doubt they're going to do the torchlight method of, like, you know, send a send an animal back to sell it, and then you wait. That's just... It's kind of silly. Um, also, there was a game called Death Spank. I don't know if you guys played that. I would think... I would think, if anything, they would take something similar to uh, this idea, where you would just put the items in, like, what they called, like, a grinder or something. I forget what it was called. But uh, you put it in, like, a grinder, and it sold, and it sells it. So, you know, very straightforward there. Um, instant money back, you know, instant... You don't have to wait for a dog or something. Um, but, but we'll see what they decide to do with that. Um, so, talking about, you know, the sense of danger and... and how they're checkpointing got me thinking about the death system a bit more. And for those that don't know, uh, the death system, as far as I know, the only information released on the death system is it's it's going to be very checkpoint based. So say you get to the end of a, a level, you know, before you get to like a level two of a tower or a cave or something. And uh, it's going to checkpoint you at the end. And then that way, when you die, you just get put back to the beginning. And as far as I know, you don't have to like run and find your corpse. They didn't want that mechanic, which I agree with. Um, you know, it was kind of stupid to just, you know, take your portal back and then have to find your corpse, where it's, which is always covered by, you know, a ton of monsters. Especially if you're playing solo. It's uh, near impossible, I would think, in some cases. So you would just leave the game, rejoin, and that's not a very good mechanic, you know. So, so with this um, idea of the checkpoint system, they haven't discussed penalties. And so this got me thinking, why even have penalties in this game? Because I, as much as I want them, you know, I want the sense of death to have penalty. I don't want you just to be able to die anywhere. Because that's not that's not fun, and I know that's not what Blizzard wants with this game. They want death to feel like it has a an impact of some kind. And I know, you know, people just say, well, play hardcore, which they're adding in this game, of course. Uh, you know, play hardcore. You know, you'll get the best sense of that. Um, oftentimes, you know, I might roll a hardcore character personally, but uh, oftentimes when you die in hardcore... It's not from something uh, that you had control over, I want to say. Like, you know, you either lagged or 
your PC shut down and, you know, your character was just standing there. You know what I mean? There's a lot of problems with hardcore and, and technology uh, failing you. Um, but I still want some sort of penalty in, like, the soft core side where maybe it's not XP loss. Maybe it's something else. Whether that's repair costs or... I don't know, just some sort of, uh, you died and now you lost something. I think that that's needed. So this got me thinking, uh, why not XP loss? And so we run into this problem of everybody's gonna get level 60 in this game. Like, I don't see anybody not getting to level 60. No matter how hard it is, your character's just gonna be better at level 60, unlike Diablo 2 where it's not that big of a deal to go past like 90, you know, like 90 to 100. It's kind of insane and not really not really worth it. And a lot of people didn't do it because of just how long it took. Um, and, you know, it just sort of happened naturally over time rather than people, you know, really trying to achieve it. In this game, it's going to be different. It's going to be everybody's going to get level 60 and PvP at 60. As far as I know, like maybe you can do arenas at, at lower level. And uh, if you guys know more about this than I do, you know, I'm sure you'll correct me in the comments. But, uh, but yeah, since everybody's going to be 60 and the idea of dying and then losing XP past your level where you de-level seems kind of absurd. And I, I'm not sure that they want that sort of system in place. Um, I just don't think it's very smart because what you, you couldn't lose like your skill point that you place. You couldn't lose like your stat points, your traits or whatever. So that's kind of the hard spot that they're in. You know, it's like. Yes, they want penalty, and I'm not saying that there won't be XP penalty. Of course, I think there will be. I think up until 60, there will be, and it will be meaningful. But what I'm saying is, you know, think about it. Once you're level 60, what matters at that point? XP is not going to matter. So it's going to change a little bit. It won't always matter like it does in D2, for the most part, um, unless you're level 99. So, so yeah, if you guys have any thoughts on what the penalty might be or you know about this new town portal system or anything I discussed feel free to leave it in the comments and uh, I really want to push the show in a direction where it's more community focused you know talking back to to the viewers obviously I don't have that many viewers right now but uh, you know as I get more and more people watching I definitely want to have this sort of back and forth um, discussion with people and and take the show in that route so anyways guys thanks for watching thanks for listening um i'll be back on saturday and i have a, I have some special gameplay on saturday um i will do world of warcraft gameplay at some point with the new patch coming out but not yet i want to make sure i have something you know interesting worth watching i just don't want to put up anything and i know a lot of diablo fans hate world of warcraft and so this channel won't be focused on it a lot uh, me, myself, you know, I'm kind of indifferent with the game, but I do play it a lot, so I might throw up a, a, a bit of gameplay of that next next week or so, but I w we'll see with that. Um, but yeah, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I never know how to end these. I'm like, what do I... And it's always this awkward, just... me looking at the recording... I'll see you next time. <laughs> uh, if you got that reference, good for you.